Hello everyone and welcome to the 98th Hammer Tutorial. You guys voted for this tutorial and it is the breaking of a light tutorial. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. We're doing this tutorial on Counter-Strike Source since that's what most of you guys use. I figure we'll keep these going. Now this tutorial works for every Source Engine game possible where there's a gun. So I don't think Portal 2 fans are going to have quite the same experience for this tutorial. Now let me show you guys what I have going on here. Um, I'm using a fluorescent light model to get started. Now when you browse for the model, be sure that there are two skins as this will help make a convincing appearance. If there's a light model with skins, there's usually two, one on, one off, stuff like that. Now you also want to make the light a prop dynamic because we are disabling a shadow. Um, and we need to change the skin and statics cannot do that because they need to be named. So go ahead and also name it Breaking Light Model. Okay. Now we need to name everything in the Breaking Light. Now what else I have here are just two normal light spots. These are going to serve as the light for when it's on. So just name these because we need to shut these off as well. The light breaks. And if you have any NV sprites on your light, you want to go ahead and name those as well. As anything that's on will need to be shut off. Don't set the parent. Make sure you set the name. And under flags, start on. When you name an NV sprite, it will start off unless you specify in the flags. So be sure to check that. Now we have the core functionality of the light, except for when you shoot it if it breaks. So go ahead and browse for your invisible texture. Just going to be tools slash tools invisible. Now you're going to want to zoom in on your light and create a small brush where the light tubes are on the light itself. This will give you essentially a hitbox for your light. There we go. Okay. So go ahead and name that make this a funk breakable. Make sure zero flags are on. And that it has at least 20 health. I use 30. Values 20 through 60 are pretty good for a light. Which means like a stray bullet's not gonna kill it, but it takes a couple shots. Alright. So now let's go ahead and add some functionality to this. So to do that, we're just gonna pop over to everyone's favorite output tab, click add, on break, the light model, skin one, that's gonna change the light model to be the broken skin, or the off skin, so that way it's good, it'll, it'll activate that skin and look like it's off. Add again, light, turn off, add, on break, sprites, sprite, hide sprite, all right, there we go. Now when you break this, the light will shut off. That's all peachy keen. But we want to do a little bit more with this. I want some sparks to come out of this thing when we kill it. So let's go ahead and add an envy spark. Spark, 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 spark. Under flags, put directional. This, there's going to be two sets of sparks. One that happens when the light breaks and one post that will be constant. So this is going to be light break spark. Gonna make it long, huge, and long. Bet you've heard that before, haven't you? All right, and just go ahead and place one to two of these on the light somewhere, so that way when they break it, shoots out sparks. And then just shift drag to make a copy. Change its name to the uh, post fixed with post, so it's breaking light spark post. We're going to change the magnitude to medium and the trail length to short. All right, and then we're going to put a couple of these in. And you want their max delay to be about 12 because we don't want to annoy the player. In fact, I'm going to make them silent. Good. All right, we're doing, doing pretty good so far. Now, outputs, we're going to activate these on break. So 
the first spark is just going to spark once because we don't want those long sparks constantly going. And the second spark, spark post, we're just going to input a start spark to that. So they'll spark randomly within maximum of 12 seconds. Now, there are two more things I'd like to add, which is another sprite that'll flash really bright when the light actually breaks. So I'm just going to copy one of these. And we'll go ahead and set this up for you. All right, light, sprite, spark. And you configure it. You want it to be a constant glow and glow. Do not start on. And for its sprite, I want to use something that's kind of flashy. There we go. Use that one. Make the scale 1.45. That seems pretty good. The render mode is going to be 180. We don't want it to be too overpowering because that might be a little much. All right, and then we're going to enable this on break. Let's go ahead and sprite spark, show sprite, and then we're going to hide the sprite 0 0.08 seconds later. Now there is one final thing. This one's completely optional and you might not want to do it, but it looks badass, so I recommend it. Going to add an NV projected texture. This will cast dynamic lighting for a split second. Now, if you have dynamic lighting somewhere in your level, don't do this because you can only have one active NV projected texture in a level at any given time because there has been a limit set by Valve. But if you don't, Go ahead and use this. It'll add a nice touch to the spark. Give it a nice feel. Um, it won't matter too much if you have more than one of these because they'll all be named something different. And it's pretty impossible for two lights to break simultaneously at the same time. So it's, it's fine. Just go ahead and break light. Project. All right. And we're also going to want a logic auto. So just go ahead and make a logic auto. Add an output to it. On map spawn. Want to target the projected texture to turn off. Because for some reason, even if enable is not checked in the flags, it still starts on. So we need to change that. Change the field of view to around 150. You can see a live preview of where it's going to hit and cast shadows. Shadow quality high. Enable shadows, yes. In the color, I'm going to give mine a light blue tint. A very, very subtle blue tint. And an intensity of 600. I want this to be very bright. Go ahead and... Blah, 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 blah. That's pretty good. Now we're going to check the outputs. Yep, we're going to add the outputs for the projected texture. So we're going to turn it on and then promptly turn it off. 0 0.08 seconds later. All right, so we're hand sprite. Turn it off. Turn it on. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and compile this, and then I shall see you, fine, fine gentlemen, in Counter Strike Source. All right. Here we are on Counter Strike. I'm just gonna go ahead and load up the level. And do do do. do, do. Alright, we'll check out our light. It looks just like all the other lights do in this room, but with the exception that this light is amazingly awesome with its breaking feature. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. Let's do it again. That was pretty good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. By the sparks. Spark, spark, spark. Ah, yeah. Yeah. 
beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.